Very interesting news about a certain raid of some drones on a military airfield in the Bryansk region of Russia, according to the results of which was damaged heavy military transport aircraft and tone off AN-124 Ruslan, which is allegedly not operated by Russian aerospace forces. It is the same as the Ukrainian famous Maria, which they destroyed in the first days of the full-scale invasion. These statements amuse me, the plane is not in operation, the blown up tanks with fuel to refuel the fleet did not know where to put it, thanks to the AFU for helping to get rid of it. But back to the drone attack. Apparently we are talking about Sestia airfield. This airfield is located 170 kilometers from the border with Ukraine. According to Russian propaganda there were five drones involved in the raid, two of which managed to shoot down with small arms, two hit the target, and one they don't know where it went. Now from the beginning. Five drones, travel 170 kilometers in the airspace of warring Russia, in theory saturated with echelon air defense and reached an important facility. And only in the vicinity of this important object did they try to shoot them down with small arms. Not with an air defense system that is used to detect, intercept and destroy air targets, but with small arms. This is further proof that Russian air defense systems are completely ineffective and pointless in today's war. In turn, Russian airspace is not just strewn with white air defense patches, but rather it is itself a huge white spot with patches of air defense. And this is a fact proven by Ukrainians. Russian weapons are a true example of backwardness and obsolescence. The war between Russia and Ukraine simply exposed all its flaws. So if you decide to buy something from Russia, be prepared for the fact that it may be a useless piece of metal in modern warfare. But you can at least try to use it to look cool at a parade or on Instagram, but it won't help you defend your country. In short, if you want to survive a real war, you better look for other weapon options and forget about this Soviet museum junk. And the mysterious drone attacks didn't end there, an unidentified flying object hit another oil depot right near the Crimean Bridge, covered by the world's best air defense. The oil depot was located in the port of Tarman, another place where the Black Sea fleet refueled. The fire broke out in a 20,000 cubic meter tank of oil products in the area, and the local governor said that the fire was assigned the highest level of difficulty. This week has been something of a sabotage marathon for Russian logistics. As a result of yet another blast part of the freight train was derailed. The rail war is going on in all its glory on enemy territory. Russian media report that a total of 20 cars have derailed. What is important here, the bombs were installed exceptionally well, not just to damage the rails, which can be replaced in a short time, and the goal was to destroy the rolling stock. It is a little more difficult to replace it. There is a sense of preparation and certain skills that the internet will not learn.